Ita for telling my boyfriend's co-worker that we're not married. I've been with boyfriend for about five years. We live together. He does not want to get married, which I'm fine with now, but it was a point of contention early on in our relationship. Boyfriend was talking to co-worker on Zoom when I brought him some coffee. Co-worker said something like so this is the lovely wife I've heard so much about. Said something like thanks but we're not married. He said oh, boyfriend always calls you his wife, and then introduced himself. I introduced myself, then ended the conversation and left as quickly I could while still being polite because both boyfriend and co-worker were giving me a weird vibe. A little while later, boyfriend came out of the office and asked what was that. I didn't know what he meant so I asked what was what. Boyfriend then said that there was absolutely no need for me to correct co-worker and that it's better if people think I'm his wife. I said I'm not his wife, I'm his girlfriend, and he never told me that he told other people that I'm his wife. This somehow becomes an argument, with my side being that boyfriend never told me that his co-workers think we're married, and boyfriend's side being that I should have figured that being called his wife indicated that co-worker thought I was his wife and I shouldn't have corrected him, and when I said I thought he'd just made an assumption, boyfriend said that wasn't the point, the point was that there was no need to correct him, that it was rude, and that it make boyfriend look like a dickhead. He then said that the solution to this is that when he next has a video call with co-worker, he wants me to come in again, strike up a conversation, and say that I was messing with him, and that boyfriend is actually husband and us not being married is an inside joke I thought co-worker was in on. He then said that was the dumbest fucking plan he'd ever come up with, and no fucking way am I doing that, and he said I was being an asshole that I got him into this, and now I have to bail him out. Ita, update, we talked. He's fucking a, female, co-worker. Apparently I can't leave my wife for you sounds better than I can't leave my girlfriend for you. So now he's going to have to tell people we've divorced. NTA. This is really weird. Op. It's not normal behavior. Why is he so against marrying you but so for other people thinking you are married to the point he wants you to lie about it? Does he care more about his co-workers feelings being hurt, or about you, and if so, why? Sounds like he got himself into this misunderstanding, and he's blaming you and wanting you to fix it for him. Is this typical behavior for him, or is this out of the norm? He says he's anti-marriage because it's just a slip of paper and ultimately means nothing to a relationship relationship, though I think it may have something to do with his divorced parents, but he denies that their situation is relevant to ours. He says it's easier if people think he's married at work, and that it stops people asking when he's going to propose. This is really weird behavior from him. NTA your comment was not out of place. It also seems pretty damn bold of him to call you his wife after refusing to marry you. Also, his plan is the dumbest fucking plan I've ever heard. It's making my skin crawl just imagining being on the co-worker's end of this weirdo scheme. Also, his plan is the dumbest fucking plan I've ever heard. It's making my skin crawl just imagining being on the co-worker's end of this weirdo scheme. I've said as much. Can't imagine getting on a thing with co-worker and being like your hubby and I like to joke that we're not married because we're just so funny. NTA. Your boyfriend made himself look like a dickhead by being one. A dumb one at that. His plan will make him look so much worse than he looks right now. Right now, you could just be one of those couples who don't want to get married on paper for whatever reason but still call each other husband slash wife. Though I'm sure boyfriend's reaction messed that up and made it weird anyway. Tell him that it's not okay for him talk to you like this and if he wants to tell people you're married he needs to buy you a ring and act you you know, get married. Do not marry him. NTA. That would be the stupidest inside joke in history. If your boyfriend, I mean husband is adamant in calling you his wife, why doesn't he propose lol considering your long history too? That would be the stupidest inside joke in history. Exactly what I said. I can't imagine getting on the thing with co-worker and being like yeah I jokingly act like we're not married and acting like that's just a normal thing to do. Ita for being honest about how I was bullied and how the teachers at my school did nothing about it while being interviewed by a current student. I'm an author of mild success. I'm not incredibly popular, but my books sell enough. 
About three months ago, someone from my old high school reached out to see if a student could interview me. I responded that my time at the school wasn't the happiest, but I would give the student responses relating to my career. We had a great chat. She started asking questions about my time at the school but I redirected. She caught on to what I was doing and asked I'm sensing that you're hesitant to talk about your time at school. Is that true? I said let's focus on the story. And she was like actually this could be a better story. So I said you know what, sure, whatever. I don't owe the school anything, I'm not being paid, and even though it's been a long time and I've grown from what happened, it's still worth talking about. I mentioned a few names in specific and how I'd tried to ask for help and was blown off by everyone. Teachers at my school very strongly favored the girls in sports teams, and would often be buddy-buddy with them and their parents. I mentioned a teacher who openly mocked the way I dressed, my lack of athleticism, etc. I brought up the time that a group of girls followed me around the school mooing at me and when I broke down crying because they wouldn't stop and tried to tell a teacher, the teacher called me Mooley for the rest of the year and when I yelled my name is Molly. Molly she had me suspended for a week. She ended up publishing the whole interview. Nothing exactly went viral but there were posts on FB with a ton of comments and it caused some commotion in that community. A few weeks later, I was contacted by a school official who chastised me for bringing up old wounds and trying to paint veteran teachers as bad people when they were going through difficult times already. The teacher responsible for the Mooley incident had a local lifetime teaching award taken away from her after it all came out, so was it really worth it, and maybe did I remember things wrong? Finally, a handful of my old classmates, many of them stuck around town, found me and I was barraged with a ton of messages telling me that I'm ruining the reputation of the school and of several prominent community members, it was x years ago so why can't I just get over it, etc. Some of them obviously haven't changed. It was a long time ago, yes. I don't know how I really feel about how this all went down though. I know times are tough for teachers right now. I didn't set out to hurt anyone, I was just telling my truth. Writer, edited, so. I didn't expect this to be so overwhelmingly in favor of NTA. I wasn't looking for validation, but wow. Some of you are sending me heartbreaking stories of bullying and being ignored or gaslit, and I am so sorry. Thank you all for the responses. If the mods want to take this down because of validation or whatever, please do. I have my answer. NTA. Funny how the burden is supposed to be on you, the former student, to protect all these upstanding, experienced pillars of the community, and not on them to explain themselves. Which clearly they can't, or the one who made fun of your name wouldn't have had her reward yanked purely on your say-so. NTA you told the truth. People got things taken away from them and got a bad reputation for their actions. You didn't make them act that way. NTA. Trying to paint veteran teachers as bad people. You weren't trying to do anything, they were bad people. Ruining the reputation of the school and of several prominent community members. Those community members did a good job of ruining their own reputations. It's not your fault they're finally being held accountable. Yeah I'd say that the teacher who called up Mooley and deserved to lose that award is now probably, having a cow. I'll, uh, see myself out. You are so NTA. The school is upset because the truth makes them look bad. Think about that. The truth makes the school look bad. Ida for kicking my friend out of my house after what she did. I am 36 wife passed away 2 years ago. I have an 11 year old son named Sean. I'm doing okay with money. I have a stable income and support system. I have a friend named Kate we've been together since we were kids. She's like a sister to me although she tends to boss me around. She's introduced me to her female friends hoping that I'll settle down again. I told her I have other priorities and I'm required to focus on Sean and his health. He's diabetes. Kate thinks there's something wrong with me but not everyone's circumstances the same. I started noticing a pattern in her behavior after she introduced me to a friend of hers. She'd tell me to leave Sean at home when we hang out and meet her friends. She'd tell me to take down any pictures that have my son and wife in it because ladies will assume that I'm a single dad or still married and that'd limit my chances in dating. I told her to knock it off and she said that she was looking out for my social life 
saying I'm ruining it and exhausting myself. I stopped talking to her for days and I decided to let it go. She's been insisting on bringing her friends to visit me with other friends. I agreed to have them as guests. Kate suggested I take Sean to stay with a relative since it'll be adult dinner but I refused. He was comfortable in his home and didn't want to go. Kate was at my place before her friends arrived. I checked on Sean and told him to tell me if he needed anything before he went to sleep. At 12.30 while I was sitting and just starting to chat with Kate's friend while Kate kept blinking at me with a smirk on her face. I got a text message from Sean telling me he wanted to use the bathroom but the door handle was stuck and he couldn't open the door. I went upstairs to check. Kate followed me. I found that the door was actually locked. I was confused I asked Sean and he said he didn't lock it. I started looking for the key that's when Kate quietly handed it to me saying she took it. I was stunned. I opened the door for Sean then I asked her why she locked the door she said that lied to her friend about me not having kids and didn't want her to see Sean. She said it was no big deal since he was sleeping but I was furious. I started yelling at her as she kept shushing me. Everyone started leaving after I yelled at Kate and cussed her out for doing this. He blew up after her friend left and said I was an idiot cause most people don't mention kids until after months into dating, and that I didn't deserve her help to move on when she thought I was a decent sane person. I called her stupid and told her to get out of my house. She told me to wallow in my misery and left. Then her friends kept blaming me for making a scene and treating Kate like that especially since she cooked dinner and helped a lot. What the actual fuck exclamation mark NTA and you won't find anyone saying otherwise Who locks a kid inside a room And behind their parents back too You need to cut off Kate completely She doesn't understand no Wants you to pretend your son doesn't exist and is spewing off lies about dating etiquette. You absolutely need to disclose if you have children or not from the beginning. She told me to wallow in my misery and left. No friend says that. She's the miserable one. Focus on yourself and your kid and do whatever is best and comfortable for both of you. NTA. She basically wanted you to pull a bait and switch on any prospective partners and we all know that's an R thing to do. NTA and OMG. She locked your child in his room. WTF. What if there had been a fire? Cut her out of your life, she is not really your friend, and she's a horrible person to have around your child. NTA. I'm sorry for your loss. What Kate did is inexcusable. She literally locked your child in their room in their own home in a bid for control. Absolutely not. You need to burn the whole damn apron, not just cut the strings. What if there had been a fire? Cut Kate out of your life for good. Endangering your child's welfare is not a way to help you or move on from your wife's untimely passing. I just reread, the child is diabetic BTW. Like what?